And speaking of insurance, uh, we've got with us the folks from Brian Insurance, uh, Brad and Sonia, uh, to uh, give us our insurance tip of the week. All right. Well, you ever heard the expression, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. I like the way you pay for what you get. Pay, yeah, you get what you pay <laughs> yeah. for. Yeah, yeah, those things. So one of the things that I always find interesting is these lower cost insurance policies out there that people always get. And my first experience with one was I wrote, I was very, very new into insurance. I wrote a policy and the person was losing their mind about making sure that his wife was on the insurance card. And I was like, that doesn't matter. It's, mm -hmm. you know, she's on the policy. Here's the insurance card. It shows the vehicle, you're good to go. But they were very adamant. I had to sit down there and write, type her name out on this insurance card and print it out specially for her. I was very confused. I come out to find out later that they have been with policies that have something called a driver specific exclusion on there. Mm. And so what that does is, or name driver peril, another way of putting it. Um, what that does is only the person named on the policy has the coverage on the vehicle they drive. That's it, simple as that. So if anybody else drove the vehicle, there's no coverage. You're out of luck. Out of luck. And I know a lot of people who say, "Oh, well, I won't let anybody else drive my vehicle." That never happens. But yeah. but whenever somebody, if you're parked behind somebody at a party or whatever, and they need to leave, you just throw somebody your keys. You don't think about it. I'm notorious for that. Yeah, it happens all the time. And so if they hit somebody. Uh oh. No coverage. No coverage. <laughs> so that's dangerous. So you got to really know what you're getting there and make sure that is something that you're willing to risk because there's a lot of times when that is, pops up at the most inconvenient time. And so that was the first one I wanted to kind of point out to people. Like really understand there's that it's out there. The other one that's just recent and I mean, what is this in the last year yeah. that this one's starting to come in yeah. is state specific policies. Mm. Really? Yeah, so if you write a policy in Texas, it's only good in Texas. And if you drive across the border to Oklahoma, you no longer have coverage. So if you take a vacation, you're out of luck. Yes. yes. I have a client that I was, their commercial auto policy had just, the, the rates in commercial auto are crazy right now. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I was trying to find him something better. Uh, and I was checking with some companies. And I got a quote from one of the companies mm -hmm. that was dirt cheap. And I was like, okay, what's wrong with this policy? <laughs> you know, so I started looking at it and uh, reading it. And sure enough, it was only covering in Texas. And part of this person's job is to travel all over the United States. So yeah. it did look too good to be true. And I knew it was. And we're always looking for the best deal for our clients. And we, you know, we're always looking for companies that have better rates and offer discounts and what have you. But really need to make sure you're checking the coverage because those are major differences in coverage and you want to make sure well you know when we were on our way to florida how many cars did we see on the side of the road where it smashed into something oh yeah oh. oh yeah and especially as you know again it's like oh i won't ever leave the state of texas look how close we are to the Oklahoma. yeah border. that's what i was going to say like yeah. oh like there's no telling how many times i hear people oh i'm just going to run up to the casino i'm just going to go to the casino and i mean that's right across the board and if you have one of these policies and you just happen to run to the casino, you don't have coverage. Also, I've been hearing that uh, there's been a lot of thefts, car thefts, people stealing cars at the casinos uh, up in Oklahoma. So uh, yeah, oh. that could be another situation. Wow, I hadn't heard that. I hadn't either. Yeah. I think with all that security, that, but I guess. There's not a security. <laughs> there's some lady running around in a golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <Yeah. laughs> I guess I was thinking of the security that's supposed to be inside casinos. Well, inside's a whole different deal. We yeah. gotta park your car inside the building. So. Well, that's true. So, but there's a lot of stuff going on. So yeah, that's another thing. I love a lot of people don't know. I mean, you're like, oh, wow, my policy is so much cheaper, but you know. There's a reason. Yeah. Really so if you do get a quote and it is cheaper, you know, and it wasn't, if say it wasn't through your agent, mm -hmm. uh, let your agent look at it for you. Uh, and that's what we would do. And then at least you're making an informed decision. Right. And we had another, we don't get into the details. We had another client a few years ago that found a better deal and went with it. And now they have a claim that's not covered. Yeah. <laughs> and thank God we explained it to them. And, and that's a whole different subject. Oh man, I explained to that guy until I was blue in the face that that exclusion is not what it meant yeah. to what the other agent is explaining to him. And I tried and tried and tried to explain. I did different ways. 
And I finally said, you know what? You know, you're gonna save twenty thousand dollars a year. Go for it. And then a two million dollar claim happened two years later, and there was no coverage. Because <laughs> yeah, we could have written that policy for him, but we wouldn't because we knew it wasn't the right coverage. Right. There was a weird exclusion, and yeah. they took that off now. And this, like the last few ones I've seen of it, uh -huh. that exclusion's not on there anymore. Well, folks need to mm -hmm. read their policy or get somebody who knows what they're doing yeah. <laughs> to read the policy. Because, uh, you know, that's one of the things that I'm blessed with is that I don't have to mess with that stuff. There you I, go. You know, I just like, okay, here, uh, let the two-time uh, insurance agent of the year take care of this. So uh, uh, make sure that uh, she knows what's up. So uh, You're two-time insurance of the year? Three times. Three times. Oh, okay. and you're also second in state. state in typing. I know. The, oh my gosh, you're so famous. I know. The trophies just keep on piling up. I'm running out of room. So you're a three time yet? Tell me that one. Is yeah. Only once or twice with you on the road. Yeah, because the one time we were on vacation, I didn't get to go to the awards. Then. Oh, okay. Okay, three time insurance. I mean, it was, yeah, I mean, it was by IAT right. and then the Society of the, F, the CIC people. So, I mean, it's kind of like what did Ron White say? There's some people that didn't know there was a contest. So, everybody wasn't, everybody in the, all the agents weren't entered into this contest. But, yeah, anyway. Well, still, you can read them. And so, make sure that, uh, make sure you know what's in your policy before you go take For it off. For sure, yeah. And those policies are not fun to read. But, you know, there's nerds like us that enjoy reading them and find you an agent that you trust. Mm -hmm. and let them explain it to you. And then at least if you decide to go with the bigger, better deal, you have an informed decision. You know what coverage you may or may not be giving up. Right. So make sure you get that done. All right. If folks need to get a hold of you guys, ask you questions, maybe they're looking for uh, a new policy or something like that, how do they get a hold of you? Oh, they can call us at 940-549-2525. Come see us at Graham, I guess the Graham location, which is uh, Sierra Bank or Hudson Oaks, or online at brianins.com. All right, we'll get her done. All Make right. sure that uh, you'll find a sale to post in Brian Insurance. All right, we got off the wall news coming up. Joe Clark is here too. We'll be talking to him in just a little bit. So, uh, y'all have a good day. I'll well, see you at lunch. Yes, I will see you today at okay. Lions Club. Can you pick me up? Yes, I will. All right.